Okay. And the second part of our day for geometry, um, this was section 1.7, Intro to Perimeter Circumference Area Part 2. What we did was we went over three examples in the book. So we did example page 53, example 4. Uh, they gave you a soccer field that was 100 yards long by 50 yards wide. Okay, and then they told you that one bag of seed, if you had to seed, you had to put seed on the soccer field, was five covers 5,000 square feet. And the question was, how many, how many bags do you need? Well, the first thing you have to do to get this problem right is you have to realize that you have to convert yards to feet. Okay, so since there's three feet in every yard, we converted 50 yards to 150 feet, and then we converted 100 yards to 300 feet. So that's the first thing you got to do to get that problem right. Then we found the area of the field, so the area was length times width. So the area was 300 times 150, gave us 45,000 feet squared. We divided by 5,000 since one bag gives you 5,000 square feet. So we need a total of nine bags for that problem. Then we went on to example number five. They gave us this pool drawing. And then they say there's a couple of decks surrounding it. And we numbered the decks number one, two, and three. And then they gave us the dimensions of each deck. And you were supposed to figure out the area for that deck. So <clears throat> we came up with the formula that the area is going to be deck one plus deck two plus deck three. And they're labeled accordingly up in there in the formula, in the problem. So the area for deck number one is 18 feet by 8 feet. So that's what those two numbers come from. And then the area in deck number two was 12 feet by 8 feet. So that's what those numbers came from. And then the area in deck number three was eight by eight, and that's just this one and that one, eight by eight. I crossed it out on that one. So when you put all that together, you get an answer of 304 feet, add them all together, squared. And then lastly, we went on to do example number six on page 54. They give you this flag, and they tell you that the flag is 24 inches long, and the area, the total area, is 360 inches squared. And your job was to find the height, so you had to do work backwards a little bit here. So we say, okay, we know 360 is equal to one half the base times the height. I know that the height is what I'm looking for. I know the base is 24 inches. So I take half of 24, get 12, divide, and I get a height of 30 inches on that one. And then we did problem number 18, work that one out in the book. Okay, so the second half of geometry today was example number four on page 53, example number five on page 54, and finally example number six on page 54. Okay, hope that helps you out.